Imad Mustafa, the Syrian ambassador, knows very well that he is not the most welcome personality in the United States. As such, he brings along a few tricks. In a rare visit to New York University, the Syrian ambassador sits on the stage as a guest of the Middle East expert Dr. Alon Ben Meir. He then presents the Syrian proposal for peace talks with Israel as he thinks it should be carried out step by step. Give us back our occupied territories and will allow the Palestinians to have their own free independent sovereign state in return for comprehensive peace between Israel and all the Arab states and totally normalized relations. Mustafa was sent here by Syrian President Bashar al-Assad to make sure that if Israel gives up the Golan Heights for Syria, not only their problems will be solved, but those of the entire world. Peace between Syria and Israel is not only, it's, it's not about the Golan, it's about the whole Middle East. It's about Israel living in peace with all Arab states without a single exception. Gil Tamari, Israeli Television, Channel 10, Mr. Ambassador, President spoke about the possibility of either peace or another war. Are we going to another war? That's embarrassing. <laughs> Nobody told me the media was there. Where is my answer, sir? <laughs> uh, privately, you will have an answer afterwards. You will answer me privately? Well, sir, are you going to answer we... me privately? It's a public event. I think I deserve an answer. Hold it, all right? Um, the we, the we, ambassador ignoring you, me only because I'm an Israeli? No, He's no, talking no, about no, 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 don't, don't, don't start that. It's not necessary. You will get your answer. The ambassador may not arrive to Jerusalem, but Israeli newspapers are read in Damascus with much interest. The public opinion inside Israel is divided. There is a peace camp in Israel, and there is a war camp in Israel. It's well known. I follow daily the, 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 daily, the, the debate in Israel, in Haaretz, in J the Jerusalem Post, in Ma'ariv, in Yedi'ot Ahronot, and people disagree within Israel itself. وكما أن الاستعمار يستمر فالمقاومة والثورات ستستمر لأن الشعوب العربية لم تعد قطيعا لم تعد قطيعا يباع ويشترى ويؤخذ إلى المذبح. In opposed to his president, the Syrian ambassador doesn't threat with war. He emphasizes that a military operation against Israel is not even an option. Israel is inside Syria today. Israel occupies a part of Lebanon today. Israel occupies the Palestinian territories, and we want a solution. And we have made our strategic option. In Syria, we call it our strategic initiative for peace, in which we say, yes, we want back our land, but we are going to do this through peaceful negotiations. Well, for, for taking the time. After this peaceful handshake, one cannot forget that he promised to speak with the Israeli reporter. He, too, hasn't forgotten. If I want to meet them, to meet them, this is arranged a priori. No, I was surprised. But it was my Despite the intellectual appearance of Mustafa, it seems not much has changed in Syria. It may be ready for peace with Israel now, but not for any kind of gestures.